Hello and welcome. Long time no see. There have there's a lot of things have happened in my family or for us in this year we have moved here to our new property, a house, and had to do a lot of refurbishing, renovating work to get it up to spec that we have a living environment. So that took most of the time this year and is still not completed but I'm in a stage now then I can continue with my work for which I will provide you some update for what I have planned for 2019. I will continue in 2019 with harnessing atmospheric electricity and can now, now that we are in our new location with our own um, garden um, conducts these experiments uh, outside. So we have um, in the next phase then the ability to elevate our contacting material into um, the higher atmosphere and we will go to levels which have not been seen so far from the most of the people who work on that subject. So what I gonna have? I have first of all show you that I'm gonna use helium balloons and I will use this very large balloons here as you can see they are two meter they can reach two meter in diameter or, or six feet but I will not um, um, will not pump them up so much with helium to that level because at higher altitude the pressure will reduce and um, as you all know it will um, expand further so I want to avoid that is gonna break uh, when I go to levels um, much higher than 400, 500, 600 meter or so. So we're gonna have um, then my deployment system here. We're gonna use different kind of windings and different kind of um, winding holders. So we have a small one here, which is good for a couple of hundred meters, but um, depending on the strength of or thickness of the wire, and here we have a four kilo, kilogram uh, reel, which can, depending again on the wire size, go up to two kilometers. We're going to measure, of course, everything then from um, the wire coming down via our high voltage probe. And I use my um, benchtop DMM, which is battery powered, so we have no influence over AC. So once we have um, established then the um, best value or let's say the, the altitude at level where we're gonna continuously hold our balloons then we're gonna need an, a means to transform this energy to a lower voltage so we can use it in with our applications. So I have built here and I worked on a different subject uh, in the last couple of years and had made a couple of tests and they are specifically what I've built here done for high voltage which will be then stepped down with a transformer array to the voltage we can then use for our applications in low voltage or I want to go down to 20, 12, uh, 12 volt, 24 volt that I can use inverters to step it up for um, household appliance if you want. So in order to test that I will also not use any AC powered high voltage sources anymore. I will use nature's same replication of high voltage with a Wimhurst machine. So I'm going to use a Wimhurst, ma Wimhurst machine as high voltage power source and I will then transform the energy from this Wimhurst machine with 
a coil system and, um, and a storage system and we'll see what combination is the best for our um, atmospheric energy to store and to convert. Once we have established all that and we know we need to get a little bit more currents down, that means I have to get a thicker wire which has a lower um, ohmic resistance. I will use then here laser wire or um, flyback wire if you want. This here is AWG22 and that has a insulation um, performance of 40 kilovolt. So that should be good enough for around 1000 meter I believe and that's going to be tested but that also would mean I have to use many more balloons so I will have to figure out the different systems I'm going to use. I don't, don't want to use four or five balloons at once at the end. Maybe I have it at each stages where in, in, in heights that I have technically an, another balloon, another balloon, another balloon to help them to carry that weight up to into the sky. So that should give you a brief overview of what I'm uh, going to conduct in 2019 and I hope I see you as members on my website in 2019 and I wish you all a very very Merry Christmas and a Happy to Near and see you soon. Goodbye.